Hey, hey, everybody. This is some course. <laughs> uh, but it's also awesome. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join on Discord. Let me, uh, it's day 29, I think we're going to be close very time. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Yeah. Thanks, the other Larry. Uh, I have to work on how to do the transition. I'm still new at kind of playing around with these intros. I uh, hope y'all are enjoying these. Uh, uh, let me know in the comments if you are enjoying these because I don't know, I'm having some fun playing with it. Uh, but yeah, today is 29th of the October Legal Day Challenge. So let's do this. Hit the order buttons. And I am in, uh, as you see, my background kind of change. I'm in, uh, uh, where am I? Fukuoka? Fuku Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, or at least close enough. Uh, yeah, so follow me on Instagram if you want to know what's up. But otherwise, let's get started. I think like my, 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 uh, my, my, whatever is a little bit weird. And now just like some weird, yeah, it's like weird light distortions everywhere. All right, whatever. Uh, hmm. All right, now I say whatever and then it's still bothering me. Uh, okay, hmm. Uh, now you're just gonna have to get some like weird whatever. I'll, I'll fix it later. I don't have to look at myself. You have to look at me. Oh, well, you don't have to. Uh, do whatever you like. All right, let's actually get the show on the world. Today's problem is 458 poor pigs. Let's take a look. There are buckets of liquid. Exactly one of the buckets is poisonous. That time is kind of dangerous. To figure out which one is poisonous, you feed some number of poor pigs. Uh, the liquid is. Okay, so I think this is a classic. Uh, problem or variation of a classic problem. I think the original one, at least, I feel like I had the original one on, um, like when I was taking computer science when I was a, a you know, a young undergrad, um, trying to, um, learn and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, and, and so that one is binary, but let, let's take a look. So, live feed, okay, do, 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 so. Minutes to die. Okay, so minutes to test. How, what was minutes? Okay. So, so what happens if this is not a multiple? Um. <clears throat> What is going on? Oh. Hmm. Sorry. Hotel table issues. Um, okay. So that, I mean, obviously this is one pass, this is two pass. Um, I guess if there are not enough things, then you just cannot tell out which one's bucket. So then the, the number of turns is just going to be minutes to test, divided by minutes to die, right? Um, <clears throat> and... <clears throat> okay, so then now this is the number of turns you get, and you have to figure out the number from the number of buckets, right? So, um, hmm. I mean, I think you could do binary search, but you could also probably just do. Uh, like a for loop, right? Because how you know how many how many things are you gonna do? Uh, like. Give it a thousand buckets. If you have the the worst answer is just gonna be a thousand picks, right? Like we 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 take a thousand picks, and then yeah, we get it in one turn, right? So then now we we try. Can we do it with nine hundred ninety nine picks? How how long does that take? Um. Okay. So but let's say, and a thousand picks. So there's two, let's say that the 10, so the idea, and I, I kind of skipped over this a little bit, I apologize. I, I'm trying to go from first principle. But basically the, the key thing to observe is that you don't need to feed um, each bucket to each pick, obviously. I mean, that would obviously give you the answer. But for example, you can think about it uh, in, as a binary kind of way, right? Meaning let's say you have, hun um, eh, let's just say for, for sake, you have 16 buckets, right? So then that means that you could feed the first pig or the zero pig, if you will, uh, zero, zero, so none. I guess that doesn't make sense, actually. So maybe no zero pig, but one, you, uh, oh, sorry, uh, let's say four buckets, right? 
and you want to do it in one turn? Am I doing this like in a weird way? Oh no no, 16 buckets, right? Yeah, 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 sorry. I'm doing this in a weird way, am I? I think, all right, let me reset. I think maybe I'm just confusing myself because I think this is a problem that I run into sometimes and maybe you can relate, is that I know the solution to the to another problem and I think this is related and it probably is, but I think I'm like connecting the lines in a weird way. And also uh, I've been out today, so uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit tired, but okay. My apologies. Uh, what am I doing here? So there's 16 buckets. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, I'm being dumb, okay. There's 16 buckets. What is the binary solution again? Wow, I'm forgetting the binary solution. But, um... There are four buckets. All right, let's keep it simpler. Let's say there are four buckets, right? What happens? With four of them, you can do it, but with... Can you do it with... I mean, with four, you could clearly do it, but can you do it with three? Yeah, so then says you could do it with three, right? Because then now... Uh, Wait, what am I doing? I'm, I'm just so confused. Okay, I, I think I'm confusing myself. Okay, so, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, right. I think I'm trying to think about the picks too much. But anyway, let's say there are four buckets, right? So then now the first bucket will be given by, or let's say there's 16 buckets, actually. Let's go back. Now I think I, I remember it. Uh, remember the idea, which I, I was like, oh, this is just that. And I was close, but it's the other way around, which is why I got confused. Uh, but yeah, so let's say there's one. Uh, we feed it to the first pig, uh, the, the bucket, so bucket one, sorry, just to be clear. So for bucket one, we feed it to, uh, so there are four pigs, we feed it to the first pig, right, only. Uh, for two, you only feed it to the second pig. For three, you feed it this first and the second. For four, you feed it only the third pig. And then for five, you have to do, 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 right, and so forth, right? And maybe I should just, all right, let's just say seven then, or uh, yeah, let's just say seven buckets, um, right? Um, and it, and we ignore the, uh, okay, fine, let me just edit it out. <laughs> Sorry, friends, I'm really confused. But yeah, but as you can see in this way, uh, and this actually works for eight buckets as well, uh, you just zero, zero, right, so no one has it. So then now, you, from this, you can see, depending on which pig died, and you only need three picks, right? Uh, you only need three picks, um, and one turn, this is basically it, right? If the first pick dies, then it's bucket one. If Or if only the first pick dies, it's bucket one. If, if the first pick die and the third pick die, then it's bucket five, and so forth, right? So then here, now you can see that you can do eight buckets. So that's basically the the basic solution of mapping buckets to pegs. And as you can see here, we only need three pegs, right? Okay. Man, I am really rusty today. Lucky. I'm going to do the virtual contest afterwards, and maybe I need to take a break and take a shower first. I don't know. Warm up. I just got back in. Um, yeah. Uh, so then now, now what do we want to do? Um, so now, so th that's why I say that, um, you know, a thousand seems, I mean, you can do a follow for a thousand anyway, but even with 10 picks, you can do all of the buckets anyway. So you don't even need, like you could do a binary search if you really want to, but you can just do a for loop, right? Um, and then now the second question is how do you do handle the turns? So this is all one turn. So with 10 picks, you can do all of the buckets in in one turn. Right? What does the second turn buy you? 
Well, the second term, you could, at, at least, at the very least, I don't know if this is optimal, but at the very least, you can change this into 16 buckets, right? Let's say you have uh, the same time, whatever, you have 16 buckets. Well, three picks, no, you can't because some of them die, so you cannot change the other ones. Okay, that's wrong. Hmm. You cannot encode it that way. But with another turn, maybe you could encode it as a, as a, instead of a binary thing, because you have one turn, you could do it in a ternary thing, right? So it's a base three. What do I mean by that? So then that means that now instead of this thing, uh, so now we have two turns. We have zero, 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 one, we have zero, zero, one, two, we have zero, zero, two, three, we have zero, one, zero, and then dot, 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 and then what is that? 27 or something? Or 26, I guess? Three, three cube, right? So then that's two, 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 right? In base three. Um, and basically the idea here, what this is saying is that, okay, this is the turn that we feed that pig, right? So for the first pig, For the first peg, we feed it on the first thing, and obviously, if uh, if some amount of pigs die, then we can narrow it down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trying to think about how you can reuse a pig, but if, but that doesn't even matter. So I was just thinking like, okay, well, if this pig die, how does it do the two? But it doesn't matter because that means that the last digit is a one, right? So basically the way you encode it, and maybe I'll do a little bit more, is that, okay, so let's say the, the first pig dies at um, the first taste with two turns or t first turn, then that means that the last digit is one, and then you feed the ones that are with two at the um yeah so so the number represents the turn in one base that you feed them and if they die then that matches that digit so that's basically the entire idea is coding it in that way so here you can see that with three picks you do basically um three two. so it's the number of turns plus one to the number of pick power, right? So then we can just do a for loop that way, right? Um, so for picks is in whatever, picks is equal to one. Well, true. Um, so okay, so we have turns to the power of picks, right? So if this number is greater than or you go to buckets. Oh, it's turns plus one, right? Oops. Then we can return picks. Otherwise, we implement picks, and that's pretty much it. And as I said, because this goes up to like 10, we don't have to worry about it, really. Let's get a quick... Sub Ooh. I mean, we have to worry about some cases. Uh, oh, if there's only one bucket? Mm hmm. I mean, I guess so. If there's only one bucket, you know which one, but uh, why did we... T oh, hmm. Because I, I assumed that the answer was going to be... Uh, what was that answer again? Oh, just one bucket. <clears throat> one bucket. Doesn't matter what the thing is anyway, I guess. Yeah, so it should be still. I, I, I guess I, I just... I mean, my formula is still right. It's just that I assumed that we need at least one peg, which I guess I was lazy about. So, yeah. Uh, hmm. It seems like I get the wrong answer a lot on this one. Uh, I don't know why, actually. Hmm. Well, this one, I, I, I guess I got the same wrong answer again. Uh, this time I didn't, though. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, uh, what is the complexity of this? Well, I mean, I don't know. This is pretty fast. But this is linear uh, in the size of the buckets. Oh, sorry. In the size of the, in, the input size of the buckets, which is the time... It uh, or the it is the number of bits uh, representing this number of buckets, which is log n, or log buckets, which is n, 
which is and this one's in all of n times because every time picks increment um this uh what you call it this at least doubles right uh and if this at least doubles then you're you're using one bit per time, so this is linear time, and in that sense, pix is linear space. No, I guess it's log n space because pix can only go up to like log log buckets, right? So yeah, um, eh, sloppy wrong answer aside, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.